Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Books and Tea and All Things Me, and I am so glad that you are here today. Today I'm doing another shameful video, but you guys all seem to enjoy the last one. This time I'm going to be talking about the books I'm embarrassed that I haven't read yet. Last video that I did was the series that I'm embarrassed I haven't read yet, and this time I want to just talk about some standalone books that I'm embarrassed I haven't read yet. So if you do want to check out my previous video about the series, I will link it down below and you can watch that as well. But today we're just going to talk about some books. Some books that I should have read very long ago and have not yet read. So the first book I want to talk about is a book that I bought before I even bought books very often and I bought this years ago like years ago when it was a lot more popular when everybody was reading it and I bought it thinking I'm gonna read this and I never did I don't know why just never read it and that book is Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen and I really want to read this book even my sister who doesn't read very often at all has read this book and I have not so this is definitely going to happen pretty soon it just it hasn't happened yet so this is probably the one I'm most embarrassed about honestly because it's been sitting on my shelf for so long the second book I want to talk about is another book that I bought on this same trip to the bookstore at the same time as water for elephants and just have never read this one yet either so this has also been sitting on my shelf for at least two or three years and that is the time travelers wife by Audrey Niffenegger. I did not know that was the author of this book, but <laughs> anyways, this still has the sticker on it. Yes, so shameful, but this one I also really want to read. I, I've i heard really great things about this book. This one also went through the time where everybody was reading it, and I have seen the movie to both of those, Water for Elephants and The Time Traveler's Wife. I've seen both of the movies already, and I never do that, but gotta read this one too. Now the rest of the books I'm going to talk about I don't own yet but the next one is one that I just ordered off of Book Outlet for the Big Black Friday sale and so I'm really excited that it's going to come. It is a scratch and dent copy so hopefully it's okay but that book is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. I have not read any of Rainbow Rowell's books yet. I know that is so shameful but I really want to read Fangirl because I really want to read Carry On. And so I bought the book for the Black Friday sale. I'm really, really excited to get it. I'm really excited to read this one. Spoiler alert, it's going to be on my TBR for next month in December. And yeah, I'm just embarrassed that I have not read that one yet because everyone has. The next book is The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. And everybody's read this too, my sister included. I haven't seen the movie yet. I didn't want to watch the movie until I read the book. I just haven't read it yet. And I'm really embarrassed. I really want to read this one too. I've heard so many good things about it. I know it's going to make me cry. I know it's going to be one of those books that just really hits me hard and really, huh, yeah, it's just going to be really good and I, I really can't wait to read it. The next book is a classic that everyone's read and everyone loves. It's everyone's favorite classic and I just have not read it yet and that is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I have seen the movie for this one as well and I really liked it. I really love the storyline. I don't really remember that much about it but yeah this one needs to happen too i don't know why it hasn't happened yet guys i know i'm saying the same thing over and over but this is just so embarrassing the next book is one that everybody's been reading recently and it's fairly new so i don't feel as bad about this one because it hasn't been out for like forever and i just haven't read it it's a pretty new book and that is the martian by andy weir this is a book that Everybody loves, everybody's giving five stars right now. Everybody's talking about it, especially with the movie coming out. And I just really want to read it. I have heard so, so many good things about it. And it's like right up my alley with the whole science aspect thing too. I love, I love science. So I'm just so excited to read this one. I can't wait to experience the humor that... Mark Watney, right? I think that's his name that he brings to the book. I've just heard so, so, so many good things and I can't wait to read it. The next book I want to talk about is Gone Girl by Gillian or Jillian Flynn. I don't know how you say her name, but this is another book that 
everybody's reading and another book with a movie. I think that's the theme here. I didn't intend for that, but yeah, everybody's read this. A lot of people like it. I have heard some negative things about this one, but um, overall, I think it's a really pretty popular book. Everybody seems to like it. I really, really, really want to read this one because I'm in the mood for a book like this. It's not on my TBR for next month, but I think I will read this one soon because, yeah, I'm just, I think I'm in the mood for something like that, and I also really want to watch the movie, so there you go. And the final book that I want to talk about, and I had a hard time picking one book from this author because I haven't read anything by her as well, and that is Colleen Hoover, but the book that I think I want to read the most out of her books at the moment is Confess. And um, I know November 9 just came out and I really want to read that one too, but I'm not as embarrassed because that one's brand new. And anyways, Confess has been out for a while. I've heard really great things about it. I've heard amazing things about Colleen Hoover in general. Everybody really, really seems to love her. And I picked Confess because it is a standalone and some of her other books are not, but Basically what I'm trying to say is that I need to read me some Colleen Hoover. So that wraps up my video about the books I'm embarrassed I have not read yet and I hope that you could feel the shame radiating from me in this video because yeah, there's a lot of shame. But yeah, a lot of shame. I need to read these books basically is all I'm trying to say. So I would love to hear your opinions about what books I should read next. Like I said, Fangirl is on my December TBR so that one will be read soon. The rest of these, I don't have any immediate plans to read them, but I would love to hear from you and let me know what ones I need to read next. Like, what am I really missing out on? I would like to know. So, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!